Alright y'all, this is Broadway and this is where everything happens in Nashville. This is where all the honky tonks are, as you can probably hear behind me. It's just venue, venue, venue. And today's video, we're talking everything about living, hanging out in downtown Nashville. This place is great, you're gonna love it. Let's go. How's it going friends? My name is Jesse Lynch and I work with the hardest working real estate team in all of Tennessee. We are called Welcome to Tennessee. You can check out our website, welcometotennessee.co. So redundant. But this YouTube channel is all about helping you find a place to call home here in Nashville or the greater Tennessee area. And that's whether you're buying a house for the first time or relocating from a different city, state, country, planet, like I know some of y'all definitely are. So if either of those things appear to you do us both a favor subscribe to this channel click that little bell to get notified give the video a thumbs up and say anything you want in the comments I'd appreciate that very much the engagement is helpful to the channel and ultimately helpful to people like yourself and as always if you're thinking about moving here to beautiful Nashville or anywhere in Tennessee hit us up and we will take the absolute best care of you and look forward to it very very much you can go to our website welcome to tennessee.co we have a contact form there super easy to fill out just give a little bit of information shoot it out and we will get back to you or just shoot us an email at info at welcome to tennessee.co and they both lead to the same spot which is me and I look forward to hearing from you and again we will kill it for you check this thing out okay today's video virtual tour of this spot technically where I'm standing isn't downtown Nashville. This is actually technically East Bank, but I just kind of want to show you downtown from across the river. Huh? Yeah, it's dope. We're gonna hop over there. I'm gonna show you all around and there will not be a better video anywhere on the internet and you know that's true. Let's go. All right, y'all, right back there is Broadway, where I was earlier, but it's chaos. There's no way I can film down there. I don't even know if you could hear me in the intro. Right here is a little place you might have heard of. It's called Ryman Auditorium. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful venue, legendary. And right now, I'm kind of in the thick of downtown. Hey, shout out. CMT building. And you know, downtown, it's, it is like a lot of other downtowns, but, it is happening. It's more touristy than a lot of downtown areas that you may be used to. Maybe you're coming from, you know, LA or you're coming from Texas or you're coming from Seattle or something like that. They are, they have their touristy thing, but they there's kind of lack kind of like the vibrance of what you're gonna see on Broadway specifically. And obviously it's Music City. Everything's music here. Everything's country music. <laughs> but there is also, you know, there's absolutely sort of like a, a rock presence, hip hop, jazz, all sorts of genres. But you know, it's Nashville. It's country music capital of the world. So that is, you know, what you're gonna get primarily. And downtown is made up of several like smaller uh, neighborhoods. For, for the sake of this video, we're calling downtown kind of all of 
the downtown area. There's also an area that I always call the Central Business District or the CBD. Um, that's what I'm in right now, right? So anytime you see that tall of a building, to me, that is the Central Business District. And that's, you know, uh, the, the heart of downtown. And yeah, it depends on what you're looking at, what people are considering downtown. So for example, sometimes you're gonna look and it's gonna say that only this part is considered downtown. But other places you look, it'll include the Gulch, it'll include the Gulch North, Hope Gardens, Lafayette, Sobro, uh, North Capitol, and, and those will all sort of be wrapped into a downtown border, or it'll just be talking about this central business district area. But for this video, we're talking all of it and wrapping it all in one. And we might go do like individual virtual tours of these little sub areas. We actually already are gonna have one for the Gulch. The Gulch is uh, special and different than this. The Gulch is uh, specifically unique and just feels different than this. It's more of like a high end, uh, like, I don't know, more of a little bit more of like a cosmopolitan area than here, a little less touristy, um, but maybe a little more bachelor party-ish E. So I don't know, maybe that is still tourist, but for sure like Broadway is where you're gonna see probably the highest uh, percentage of tourists, you know, just to come see that country music history, that bluegrass history, you know, everything Nashville. Broadway is where most of that stuff is gonna be. The population of downtown Nashville is 13,000 people. And actually, I think it's very difficult to find statistics on what they're considering downtown. I think that is more this central business district. And if you wrapped in all of these other neighborhoods, I think it would be considerably, considerably higher than that um, by, I don't know, many times greater. And obviously, you're right in downtown. It's convenient. You, you could you know work downtown not even have a car and get around just fine. And from the airport, depending on traffic, you're 10, 20 minutes from the Nashville airport. That is one really nice thing about Nashville as a whole is the airport is nice and close to the city and just easy to get to. It's easy to fly, you know, fly in and just pop in, be in downtown in no time. If you have a business or whatever and you have folks coming from out of town, cool. They don't have to like pay $100 for an Uber ride. You know, they don't have to hop on an Uber that's gonna cost $100 and take 45 minutes. Uh, it's nice and close, super Uberable. Uh, yeah, also, side note, the rental car situation, piece of cake, in the Nashville airport. You're gonna find so much history down here and you know, that does lend itself to sort of the tourism aspect of downtown Nashville. But you know, for one, Ryman Auditorium, Johnny Cash Museum, you're gonna be able to, you know, go to, the convention center is right in downtown, which is actually called Music City Center. So don't, if you look up the convention center, you might not find that. You're gonna find the Country Music Hall of Fame, Fort Nashboro, which is actually very cool. I would recommend checking it out, even if you're just gonna live here. It's just neat, historical. I kind of geek out on some of that stuff. <laughs> so yeah, check it out, it's cool. And the cost of housing here is gonna vary pretty, pretty dramatically. Uh, there's the lowest thing on the market right now is right around 300K. It's gonna be a condo. Most of the stuff down here, if not all of it, is gonna be a condo. There might be like one or two things that are classified as single family homes, but that's gonna be pretty, rare and then you can easily spend a million two million five million seven million <laughs> if you want uh, there's just a lot of diversity in housing stock uh, the median list price or the median sale price I'm sorry is right around 500k so depending on what you're looking for you know and how big of a spot yeah somewhere around that number maybe to a million is probably where the most houses are gonna be
right y'all right now i'm in nashville public square park here in downtown very cool setting this building right here is so cool so just like historically beautiful feels like you're in uh New York right over there or something like that but this is Nashville Public Square Park and I don't know it feels like that right it feels like an old-school public square where people would come and yell at people <laughs> or whatever people did in the public square back in the day kind of cool though, like little outdoor dining spots and stuff like that and this is the courthouse and the city hall right here ah it's just it's really cool right here, but we're talking pros and cons of living here in the downtown Nashville area. This is basically right on the edge of sort of the central business district, AKA downtown. And then right over here, basically like half a block away or something from where I am is considered the North Capitol area. The Capitol is right there as well, which you'll see, you'll see plenty of it. And then the Capitol itself is right over there and that's why we call it North Capitol area. So we're talking pros and cons of living here in downtown. You know, it's some of this might be a little bit obvious. It might be like, yeah, that, no kidding, that's what a downtown is like. But I tried my best to find things that are specific to Nashville downtown compared to other downtowns. Not just like, here's why a downtown in general isn't necessarily a good fit for you. You probably know that, but maybe you're on the fence with downtown Nashville specifically compared to some other downtown. So here we go, pros and cons. First of all, you know, yeah, there's a lot of cool, obviously the music culture, country music culture, and there's a lot of history, and just a lot of cool stuff going on. It, it is a very like unique city in that regard. And it is very geographically condensed, right? Whereas some downtown areas are just like this sprawl and not that walkable and you're just kind of, I don't know. It's like, well, there's all the big buildings and you know, all the cool stuff might happen scattered throughout. I think Nashville in general, because of its relative smallness, does a very good job of being like condensed. Everything good is like, <laughs> or everything fun is like relatively close to itself or everything fun is like relatively close to each other if that makes sense and again great history like very cool history a lot of the history is focused around country music but not all of it uh i'm not even that big of a country music fan <laughs> and personally i'm a rock and roll dude i you know grew up listening to like hip-hop and hardcore and uh yeah i play music the music i play is more like an indie rock thing not so much country but i don't care it's so cool the history here is so cool whether or not you're like a big country music buff next pro for me it's going to be beautiful outdoor spaces there are uh in certain areas the gulch has a lack of outdoor spaces right but here in downtown along the riverfront really great outdoor spaces this park is very cool uh and just the city design is very cool and feels very intentional they didn't just cram a bunch of tall buildings together and there are just several moments throughout the downtown area that are you kind of stop and and look and say ah that's really cool that's really beautiful it's not just buildings stacked on buildings it's uh it feels very deliberate and that's something i appreciate i love architecture i love like city engineering and civil engineering and that kind of stuff i think nashville does a pretty good job of that maybe we'll get to some of the things that they're not cut up on uh in a little bit next pro probably pretty obvious but just as far as like entertainment goes there are so many you know, bars, restaurants, cafes, honky tonks, which is what they call the music venues. Uh, I also just call them music venues because again, it's not country that I play. Uh, so yeah, there's a huge variety of venues. So there's a huge variety of, you know, venues and just, you know, in general, retail commercial opportunities just entertainment opportunities and i would say that you don't have to be a tourist to sort of enjoy it there's a there's like a availability of things that are not tourist based that are just you know your lifestyle is such that you can enjoy it here without being like doing just touristy stuff and see what i said cool architecture i'm a fan it's everywhere it's all over the place down here and then last but not least i would say the next uh and actually there's more than this but my next pro is going to be 
that it's just there's like a vibrancy and people are just excited to be here you go to downtown you go to broadway and just people are smiling people are excited people are stoked to you know be in nashville be around all this history and yeah it's i like that i like to go downtown and just see people thrilled to be in a place that i really enjoy okay and then as far as cons are concerned any downtown is going to have cons right it's not for everybody i certainly know that um but yeah even just even if you are into downtowns here are some cons number one probably pretty obvious crime is going to be higher in a downtown area than not in a downtown area and downtown nashville is no different than you know what you're gonna see normally so higher than average crime in the downtown area two and i think this is pretty much always the case as well uh median home price is going to be higher in downtown nashville than it is going to be you know throughout the rest of the nashville metro and you're going to get less for your money you're going to get less house less square footage for your money in the downtown area but you know lifestyle and overwhelmingly it's going to be condos you're not, not going to be dealing with maintenance you know so almost everything's going to have an hoa so you're going to have to pay an hoa which either either is annoying or you're glad that they're taking care of stuff for you uh and yeah it's going to be generally smaller you know it's a probably more more often than not it's going to be one level you know condos and yeah, they're going to be smaller than if you bought a single family home in the suburbs or even in a neighborhood in nashville uh, for the same price you're also not going to have a yard you know it's all this stuff that is very condo related you're not gonna have a yard uh, so if you have a dog cool it's definitely a dog friendly city um, but you're not gonna be able to just you know let them out in the backyard you're gonna have to take them for a walk you know that condos that all makes sense next con for me is it overall I would say it's a good thing for the city of Nashville it's growing and it's growing quickly but the con there is gonna be <laughs> that there's construction everywhere there are cranes all over the place and you know random obstructions to roads because a brand new building is going up or something like that there that is there's a lot of that going on here so just know that coming into it um, that said this kind of older central business district part of downtown you're not going to see it quite as bad by the way I don't know if you saw the round building kind of behind me. It's probably out of sight entirely now. That is the Country Music Hall of Fame. Very cool. Just cool to see it. Uh, next con. Okay, I'm gonna. This is a threefold con for me, and it all has to do with parking. And this is just like a personal gripe. For one, I just got a ticket, so <laughs> that's my bad. I didn't. Pay, I didn't pay for parking. I got a little Cavalier, and uh, yeah, I got a ticket. So uh, it seems to me that you know they're, they're definitely watching that and then to me that is sort of compounded by the fact that a huge majority of the meters in downtown nashville are still coin pay which is just like very much like a decade ago in a lot of other cities most cities that are sort of growing in the fashion of nashville have figured out how to pay for a parking meter with a credit card or a phone app so personal gripe like come on what are we doing we, we can figure that out right come on Nashville and then it's compounded even more by the fact that a, some of the parking lots in downtown are ridiculous while I was shooting this video I tried to park in a lot for 30 minutes it happened to be one that you could use an app for 30 minutes they tried to charge <laughs> $35.99 for 30 minutes $35.99 that's silly but you know obviously uh, that was one lot but it does seem like lots here are maybe a little more expensive than a lot of other places around the country but it does seem like lots here are a little more expensive than all other places around the country and I would say a big part of that is sort of the tourism aspect of it which leads perfectly to my next part the next con which is that because it's touristy you know there are times where it just is just buck wild at night it's pretty crazy i would very much prefer to uber into downtown or lyft no no preference uh and rather than like deal with parking you know there are parking ramps and they do a decent job of you know supplying parking ramps but 
I don't know. It's just it's just a little bit of a headache, uh, especially during like a peak time. And then that tourism aspect, it leads to like these weird driving habits of people who they like they're just stopped or they're driving five miles an hour you know and you're like what what are you doing you know it doesn't make sense and it's you know like they're looking they're like rubbernecking right where they're they see something and there's more of that here than just about anywhere i've ever experienced of people just stopped to, <laughs> to look at something while they're driving and in their car in the middle of the road and yeah that's a kind of another personal gripe but truly if you live here if you go downtown that is going to be something that is inescapable is sort of that like tourism that uh yeah but again that's one of my favorite things about it people want to be here it's cool it's vibrant people are happy all right let me uh let me show you around a little bit more state capital of the great state of Tennessee. Right back here, Bicentennial Capital Mall State Park. Also, just a cool view from up here. Just, it's pretty vast, goes on a long way. I love a good view. This downtown area has so much going on that we will be making individual virtual tours of uh, maybe not every single small neighborhood, but probably the big four, which would be the Gulch, Sobro, Central Business District, and North Capitol, this area that I'm in right now. And, and there are some other spots that we might do specific virtual tours on, but don't wanna to spend too much time getting too granular. I'd rather, you know, get more out there and go to more suburbs and all that. And really, no matter where it is, no matter what you're thinking, whether it be in this downtown core or one of the suburbs, or even somewhere outside of the Nashville Metro, we would love to help you find your home here. It's what we do, it's what we do very well. Also, if you're a first time home buyer, obviously this is not geared towards that, but we do have other videos on the channel and coming up that are more geared towards that, a little more educational, a little more here's what to expect, and yeah, and they will be the best videos anywhere on the internet. So like always, if you are interested, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get notified, give the video a thumbs up and say, hey in the comments and if you're thinking about moving here just get a hold of us however you can you can go to our website welcome to tennessee.co as in cowboy actually yeah that's really it says in the company um, and we have a little contact form there fill it out send it over we will respond and we'll you know get you headed in the right direction or just shoot us an email at info at welcome to tennessee.co and they lead to me they lead to the same spot and we look forward to helping you we look forward to showing you around even more than we just did in the great state of tennessee the great city of nashville yeah we did it this has been downtown nashville virtual tour Whew, long day all right and one ticket later so this already cost me at least 50 bucks. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.